So this shrub has reached a size that's kind of overgrown the space that it has to grow in. And so in order to keep it from doing damage to the paint and finish on the wood here, we're gonna prune it back. As with any pruning jobs, you wanna remove crossed and rubbing branches because they'll damage each other and bring in um, bacteria and fungus that can inhabit the branches and spread disease. There are some branches down below that have been cut off and, and there's no new growth coming on them and those would need to be removed. And we also have some large branches that can be removed that will help rejuvenate this shrub. So when you prune branches back, uh, especially for size management, you wanna prune back to another growing point so that you get natural growth on the plant, but you minimize the size of the shrub. We always wanna encourage pruning back to a stem that's large enough to support the growth of that branch. If you can't find a branch to cut it back to, then the preference would be to cut it back to the ground level. And the closer to the ground level you can get, the better so that there's not exposed wood that can decay back and expose the rest of the shrub to disease. With the University of Wyoming Extension, I'm Donna Hoffman from the ground up.